What's up everybody, Christian Ballard, Ballard Sports Media, making a video real quick, giving my thoughts on Jimbo Fisher out the door. Uh, we kind of saw that coming, and he's been relieved of his duties as of a couple weeks ago. They've been working and trying to find the right replacement uh, for Jimbo Fisher, and they came up with Mike Elko, former defensive coordinator at Texas A&M, and... Uh, he he won't be the official head coach. I mean, his first year is going to be 2024. Um, he was the former defensive coordinator there uh, on a three-year deal. And then <clears throat> starting in 2022, uh, of course, in December, that's around the time people get hired uh, for head coaching vacancies. He gets hired in December of 2021, so 22, and then this year at Duke. And, man, did he turn it around. This is one of those things, though, where you say, is he ready for the SEC? I think he's ready. I, I really do. I think that being the D.C. for a couple years, I think that it it's going to help build experience. You know, overall, currently uh, 16 and 9 at Duke, 9 and 7. In ACC play, won the Military Bowl last year. Uh, who did they play? Did they play like UCF? I think it was UCF and Gus Miles on, but um, they tied second in the Coastal, uh, tied six in the division this year, but the ACC is really kind of amped up, and, um, you know, it's really picked up for all these other teams. Of course, Florida State's up there, Duke, and um, – you got teams like Syracuse. So Syracuse, uh, I don't know what to say about them. They let Dino Babers go. Um, who else you got? Louisville? So you got a few teams. I'm surprised that Duke tied uh, six right now. And um, they go seven and five this year. It's kind of a step back, four and four in conference play. I don't think that Duke was going to let Elko go. I, I don't. Uh, I think this is one of those things where Texas A&M made the call, and he answered and said yes. So he's going to be coaching in the SEC next year in 2024. Texas and Oklahoma come in. All these other conference realignment deals go on, and the 12-team playoff. We're going to see. Uh, the next year just got even weirder and wilder uh, with Mike Elko leaving Duke for Texas A&M. I do think he's going to do great. I I expect him to. Uh, well, I don't I don't know what to expect, honestly. And I, honestly, I don't know what to think. I think that it's the right hire because you go and you go backwards to get your former coordinator, uh, who should already know the system, know the ins and outs of the Texas A and M Aggies. So we'll see. We'll figure it out. Texas A and M, you'll be okay. Aggie fans, you'll be all right. We'll see you later on. Ballard's out. Peace.